the next things are just some clothing items that I got from Ross. And again, I've been trying to tell y'all, like, don't sleep, okay? Giving with ten dollars. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's all that I be trying to tell y'all. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jaya, but you call me Holly J. And if you're new here, thank you for stopping by. Y'all, I'm feeling good. I'm looking cute because look at my backdrop. I know so many of y'all were like, I love your checker wall. Like, I get compliments on my backdrop all the time. But it was time to update it, you know, quality of living, everything's going north. So, we cute or whatever. It's really not even done, but it's definitely appealing enough for me to get back to filming. So, that's what we're going to do. So, enough of that. As you can tell by the title, I'm trying something new. And I think I'm going to enjoy it, but I hope that you guys enjoy it. I want to start bringing like collective hauls to you guys. Retail therapy is one of my favorite forms of therapy. Um, but as y'all know, I am an avid bargain shop. I spend a lot of time in Ross. I spend a lot of time in Marshalls. I spend a lot of time in discount stores. I like the art of shopping. I like looking. I like... I used to love trying on, but we don't do that as much anymore, but I just like feeling the clothes, looking at them, imagining, visualizing how I would use the item, all of that. So I figured um, I should start showing y'all what I shop for because I don't always do online shopping, but I'm usually always shopping, <laughs> if that makes sense. So I figured there might be some girls out there like me or maybe you just need to get put on to the fact that you can. And this is something I really want to express to my audience and to my supporters is that you can look put together and look like somebody and really give a look and a vibe and an aesthetic without breaking the bank. Like you don't have to keep up with the Joneses to look like somebody. I personally think I always look very put together and I rarely ever make extremely like grand purchases like everything i get is like something i saw was cute at walmart like walmart to me has really cute accessories like you just have to know where things are so that's enough of that i'm just gonna show y'all what i got so let's get into it so the first place i went to was target oh no Oh no baby, I was ashy. I got out the shower, I got my arms out, and then put a lotion on. If you know me, you know me. A lotion, mm, only when necessary. <laughs> so like I was saying, the first place I went to um, this weekend was Target. So we're trying this out, right? So let me know what stores appeal to you more when I start doing these hauls. Because I feel like a lot of us love Target, but um, are you guys gonna shop at Target? You know, is it more just like a move or wish list type of thing? So let me know. But I am excited to show y'all what I got from Target because I think personally Target has really nice like beauty products to try and like hygiene stuff. So why not? You know, and then they obviously have like accessories, everything like that. So I think that this can work just for this haul specifically. I didn't pick up a lot of fashion things. Um, it just wasn't on my mental for Target, but y'all will just see. I don't know why I'm giving it away. Let's just see. But I'm telling y'all because I want y'all to give me feedback in the comments. So, yeah. So, these next two items, these are really new for me. These are, um, let's say skincare items. And I went to Target on Saturday. Today is Sunday. So, I've only used them for a day and a half because I used them at night and then I used them this morning. But... I'm not going to, I'm not going to exaggerate it and drag it, but I am going to say that I'm seeing positive enhancements thus far in a day and a half span. The first thing I got is this My Matcha um, Moisture Stick by Coco Kind. 
I don't know too much about this brand. I did do a little bit of um, research. I always do like a little YouTube look up or like Google search before I pick up new products just to be sure that it's not just claiming to do something and then it doesn't. I did grab this one, my matcha. Um, and what stood out to me is the fact that it's in a stick form. I think that's pretty cool. And so they do claim like this can be on the go moisture. I don't think it's that serious for me, but what stood out to me is how to use. And they were like, use daily under the eye. You can use it as a lip balm and or on dry spots, just in general, throughout the day, on the go, in your skincare routine, yada, yada, yada. Some of the main ingredients in here are coconut oil, matcha, and beeswax. So I've mentioned previously on my channel that I have dry skin like normal to dry skin and that's kind of like all over where one of the areas that are like most dry is my eye area like it just kind of stays like a little ashy like after i wash my face that's probably like one of those drier areas you know around the mouth so i feel like this concentrated wax like but dries down not oily finish would be perfect to really like moisturize and specifically treat that area that I feel like needs that extra attention and love. So I grabbed this because I am going to do it. And I also picked up this vitamin C serum. This serum is by Art Naturals and this is the vitamin C serum. Again, I did a little YouTube search. I saw people were doing reviews on it. So that told me it's not just some product they're putting on the shelf or, and you know, making false promises although it may not work for me i just like to know if a product is just being pushed and claiming to do certain things besides actually having consumers use it and can tell you whether it worked for them or not but it's not just like you know like a marketing thing like i just like to know is this real so i got the vitamin c and this one is supposed to have advanced moisture and brightening formula um, I like what vitamin C does for the skin because with dry skin it typically can look dull so I do kind of gear, gear towards things that will brighten the skin and make it like glow like be more radiant than dull but they have like a collagen one a uh, uh, hyaluronic acid one it has a few so check that out if you're interested but I have liked this thus far as well like I feel like it is helping with the dullness right after cleansing my face like I'm not just putting moisture on top of a dry face to make it no longer dry I just feel like this seeps into the skin treats the skin in that dry state and then putting my moisturizer on top just seals it versus just putting moisturizer on top of dry skin you know what i'm saying i feel like this is like medicine okay so some of the clothing items that i got from target i did get a few i didn't do as much as i might normally but it just depends on what they have in the store but i did get some basics so i got two of these crop top little shirts they have a little bit of spandex in them so they kind of fit to the body and i love that because i have like one from h&m they h&m does so good in basics but we can talk about that later um and then i got one in black and these were five dollars each so i had to get them and i got them in a small so that they do fit to me and you know when you go in like stores like target or walmart whatever you kind of want to sometimes size down so that they can be more form-fitting because those stores don't necessarily like put that extra effort into making it like you know body fitting or whatever you know what i'm talking about but, and then the last thing that i got was the shades baby I thought these were so cute. These were $12.99. It's a, a little steep for me to be paying for some shades, but you know how Target do. So I got these really cute. I feel like they're rust brown, but they're doing that really cool shape like the L-O-E-W-E -E glasses. I don't know how to say it, so I just felt it. Um, glasses which I have been looking for me a little dupe in those I just don't know what color I want but this was kind of giving that too and I felt like this color I would use these are such a look like hello hello and they're lash friendly my lashes aren't butting up against it that's good okay so now I'm gonna move on to the Ross selection of things Y'all know y'all girl love Ross. I don't know if y'all 
y'all know, but I'm about to start showing y'all because I feel like I tell y'all, but y'all just gonna see how much I find the cutest things in Ross. Like, people don't believe me. Like, you just have to have an eye. Like, you have to know. You have to know. I could give you some tips on shopping in discount stores, but that's not what this video is about. So, comment down below. So, one of the things I got from Ross is, and what I love to get from discount stores, and I'm sorry that this box is so effed up, but like, that's not my fault. Um, and I actually did use this already, because I needed a new one. But, <laughs> I got a shower cap. So freaking cute, with like the little lemons on it, and it's like mint green. I love it. I always get my shower caps from discount stores. Um, they're always the cutest, and they get the job done. So this one was $2.99. $2.99 from Ross. If we need a cute shower cap, sis, go to Ross. The next thing I got was some exfoliating sponges. So I've recently learned like and have changed my whole shower routine now that I have exfoliating gloves. I've always seen them in there and I'm just like, mm, what's the purpose, what's the purpose? I picked up some just to like enhance like maybe a bath night I was having or something and I picked them up didn't use them then. Finally used them, I think it was because of my new bar soaps or whatever, or like with like my sugar scrubs. I was like, let me try this. Y'all, it has changed the game for me. Like I use my gloves every time. So I decided to try to get like sponges instead of gloves this time around, see if that makes any more sense. Cause it is a little annoying to have to put on gloves in your shower every time, but take time in the shower anyways i don't be tripping but this could maybe like be a better alternative so i was going to try these out and these are 3.99 from ross um the next thing i got at ross are these fancy feet foot pedal ball foot gel cushions to keep your feet from sliding i have skinny feet so they be sliding through and so this will help because it be hurting the top of my foot because i be holding for life on that little bar you know what i'm saying so i typically like to pick these up when i see them at ross for a dollar and 99 okay so the next thing i got is like i was like do i need it do i really need it but then when i thought about it i'm like when it come down to it i be needing something like this so I picked up this mix and mask kit it's four piece masking kit it has a mask bowl measuring spoon stirring stick and mask brush i'm like jaya do you really need something like this but y'all how many times have you like you know been trying to make your own mask whether it's a hair mask or face mask and when it comes down to it you're using an old bowl from in your kitchen and you're trying to find plastic spoons and all that to like mix it and apply like yeah like it actually is a necessity and so i figured let me just invest and this was 2.99 from ross with everything i'll need like if i needed to measure something out because i'm making my own mask if i needed to apply it to my face i have the brush that's probably very easy to wash and reuse i have a spoon to mix like yeah i was like this it felt silly at first but it's actually very necessary very necessary i was gonna say a necessity or necessary so then it came out necessary so um the next thing i got was these lip scrubbers by vivitar two of them and what i really like about this because i actually have a lip scrubber um but it's like a handheld one um, and what I like about this one is that you can insert your finger on the back of it So that is just like slip your finger in rub it rub it rub it and put it away um, I feel like I might use this one a little bit better than I use the other one I forget to use the other one, but I'm hoping this will remind me to use it and I have two in a pack and this was $3.99 at Ross Ross is a really great place if you're trying to like just elevate your life like you need like those little cool little things that help make your skincare routine that much more enjoyable or like your hair care routine or it allows you to like want to try new things and like you know be more in charge of your hygiene and the way you care for yourself i think it's like very inspirational for that so there's always like cool tools and kits and things like that to get your 
juices flowing and so that was kind of this the thing for the lip thing for me what else do we get okay so another thing that i found at ross for 9.99 is this beautiful oh. I'm exposing myself. Oh, y'all seen the setup. I don't like that. You don't need to know what goes on behind the scenes. Anyways, I have this cute little tray with the little mirror on the bottom. This will probably go on the accessory part and maybe I'll just put like rings. I don't know, but I needed it. You know, don't y'all agree? I needed it because that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to organized and every get everything cute and aesthetically pleasing and this spoke to me it's white it's heavy it's durable like it's substantial and it was ten dollars so i got this okay and for the last little bit of this video the next things are just some clothing items that i got from ross and again i've been trying to tell y'all like don't sleep okay and i kind of kept it real like cute and short in there today when i went but Sometimes I'll be boiling out in you know. I've been very much more a conscious shopper. As I told y'all, I'm just like up in the quality of living. And Ross and like bargain stores aren't necessarily aligned with that in everything. But you still can. Like you still can. You just have to have an eye and you have to be intentional with your purchases. At Ross, if you don't, if you think you're just gonna wear it for that one time, maybe let's not get it. Unless you're thinking I need something to wear out tonight or tomorrow because I have an event. That makes sense to me. But if you're just shopping leisurely and that's a place you like to frequent, I would just say like be intentional. Yes, it's cute, but will I wear it? Again, do I, can I style it multiple ways? Is it a good color? Because that's another thing. Like, I think if you're shopping in bargain places, you should probably stay away from the crazy colors and kind of stick with neutral so that it can be reused and it gives off more of a mature and like, you know, grown and sexy vibe versus kind of cheesy because the quality in those stores is typically lower. So you kind of want to balance it out so that it's still giving but you giving with $10, you know what I'm saying? Like that's all that I be trying to tell y'all. And so again, it's not what this video is about, but if y'all want a video on some of that, like maybe tips or whatever, let me know because I'm telling y'all like it can be done. So the next thing I got is this really cute top. Okay. Um, you know, falls on the way. It's not gonna be a while for me. But obviously, they love switching out clothes as if we don't live in Florida. Um, but, you know, just a, like, nice gray tie little shirt. Um, I put some boob tape on. My boobs will be sitting up. I won't need a bra. And it's going to be really cute. Really dressed up or dressed down. Um, has really nice long sleeves and everything. So, I picked that up. But, like, that would be a good addition to my closet. And this was $10.99. So the next piece I picked up, I was like, ooh, see, this can really be a piece in my closet. Um, and for the color, so I got this really cute spaghetti strap mesh bustier kind of top. It's probably, it's it's a crop top, but it probably comes like maybe right above the belly button, not too cropped. And so I feel like this is really cute. This can be used in a lot of ways and everything. Um, it's kind of like ruched with the mesh. So I found that to be very appealing, very sexy, very cute. We could be really girly with like a satin skirt or we could be really edgy with like some leather pants, you know? So next I also got this little top. It's like one of those kind of stretchy materials, slim fit tops it's like a crop top but it comes to about the belly button and these are one of my favorite things to get from Ross because I work from home and so it's like put together and like you look like somebody and you can throw something over your shoulders really quick for like a zoom call or whatever but also you don't have to wear a bra that's where this was going I love how these fit to you and so you can just be comfortable but look put together and appropriate yeah i got this for eight bucks and then i also got this really cute little sweater so yeah i started picking up a few things for the cooler weather um this just looks so cozy to me like off the shoulder 
maybe even when I film a video, like it'll be such a cute little, you know, make the sleeves long on your hands. Like, you know, I just love fall. And this was $11.99 at Ross. Cute, got it in a medium so that it is a little oversized. I'm definitely gonna do like the one shoulder thing. So, really cute in like a taupe gray color. It's more taupe than gray, but it is more on the cooler side. So yeah, it's just cute, soft, cuddly. And I'm sure you guys know this about the discount stores, the bargain stores, but baby, get your freaking candles from there, okay? I got this WNL Soy Wax Blend candle. I kept picking up this brand. So they have some really good smelling candles. Like I was picking up brand after brand, but I kept gravitating to this brand, this W plus L. And so this is the fresh water essential oils one. And apparently it's poured in LA. So this is US based and it's $6.99. Um, like I said, this is the fresh water one. It smells so good. It's like, like it's got a sweet smell, but it's like calm. I don't like too sweet of smells because they sometimes give me a headache when it comes in like candle form. But this one is like light enough that it'll just make for this place to kind of smell good. I also picked up a skirt, but the skirt did not come up over these hips. What? So that has to go back, but it's so cute. So I'm not gonna show it because I mean, why? I can't have it. I can have it, so you can have it. So <laughs> last thing I got was this really cute acid wash denim jacket shirt and i say jacket shirt because i got it in a size small that was the only size it had it fits me fine and everything but it's not gonna be like that oversized really really or oversized look so i probably won't wear it as like a whole jacket like i don't know we'll see how i sell it because it is still long enough but look how cute it is like Ross is really a great place for pieces like this, like layering pieces, um, like pieces that stand out, pieces that's gonna make a simple little weekend fit real edgy and cute because you tossed on your acid denim, you know, jacket thing. And so now you're giving a look, you're giving a feel, you're giving an aesthetic. Ross does a really good job with those types of things. Like you may not like their clothing, but like jackets, accessories, shoes, purses, like that's the place to go. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. So yeah, I got this for $16.99. It's a little on the high price for me when it comes to Ross, but I will spend it because I know I'm gonna use this. Um, and Ross be knowing they worth sometimes. They be knowing sometimes. They know like this is cute and like you could do something with it. So up them dollars but <laughs> so that's everything for what i got at ross and target this time around um if you enjoyed this type of video please give me a big thumbs up that will let me know that i should continue to do these i think i'm gonna do it anyway so that y'all can get a feel of like what the vibe will be but definitely give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this one thus far leave a comment down below to tell me anything more you'd like to tell me thank y'all so much for watching tuning back in joining me for a new you know look and everything i hope you enjoyed your time spending over here on this channel and um i will see y'all in my next